All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Mm-hmm. Conviction. Yes. Oh, I had an etiquette one, too. Forgot about that one. Etiquette? I have etiquette, though. I'm a well-learned, well-mannered young man, and I am... I will be fine. I will be fine. Where all eyes size you up. Wow. Wow. This is scary. What if I fall off and die? I understand it's very beautiful and all, but still. Find the place mentioned by your mother. Okay. We've met some people, but we haven't really gotten to know... Have we met everybody? According to the journal here, no. There's still three more people we haven't seen before. Von Volner, Johann Christoph, is the Prussian Minister of Religion. A friend of King Frederick William II of Prussia, Von Volner secretly managed the affairs of state. Formerly pastor and member of a Masonic lodge, he had all the time he needed to convert his king to his point of view. Together, they opened their own lodge under the influence of the Rosicrucians, passionate about the occult sciences and alchemy. He led a war of religion in his country and fiercely combated the ideas of enlightenment. A friend of Sir Gregory Holm, Von Volner believes in spiritual alchemy, of which the materia prima is the human soul. So an occult kind of guy, huh? Anybody else we haven't met yet? Napoleon, we did figure out that he is vulnerable to people who are well-mannered. That's good. Washington is not vulnerable to politics, because he is the king of politics. <laughs> Emily is immune to logic. That's... Uh, well, that doesn't sound very good, does it? <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Oh, Peru. Vulnerable to psychology and etiquette. More of um, a meathead kind of guy. Yeah. Everyone's here to discuss their nation and all, but like, why am I here? <laughs> For my mother, obviously, but it's a bit curious. I bet everyone's wondering why I'm here. Wow, bad etiquette. Who left that on the ground? Piaggi? Oh, how big is this place? Can we actually... Ooh. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. <laughs> Sometimes the shinies, I mistake it for the, the shine on things. Yes! Amber crystals. Yes! Finally. Key with an occult earth symbol. Ooh. Okay. We're not leaving just yet. No. Of course not. So far, yeah, it's supposed to be a murder mystery, but like, we don't really know who's dead yet, and am I supposed to be suspecting people already? I don't know. It's a political gathering, so I feel like everyone's always a little bit suspicious. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. But I can, I can hack into it, can't I? If it's only one point, then I think we should not wait for the key, because we don't know when we're going to come across the key. Oh! I only have one royal jelly left. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, let's save this for now, because we know the key is somewhere. I want to talk to Piaggi first. Devil's Horn? Devil's Thorn. Displays immunities, vulnerabilities. We'll do that for Piaggi. <laughs> Butterfly standing right here. Jeez. Oh, let's pick it up. Oh, it's, uh, it's timed. Okay, let's go. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, 
I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. 40 seconds! Hold on. Where do we see it? Do we see it here? We just know he's vulnerable to questioning. That's all. Uh, am I worrying? I am worrying a little bit, yeah. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand, Louis. But continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days, we'll all be laughing together. Ha ha ha! That's ha, ha. all I hope for, Your Eminence. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Oh, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Ten seconds, goddammit! Um... Yeah, we're not gonna use the Devil's Thorn. Whatever. Do I wanna... This one is my interpretation of it. This one is what it actually said. Mm. Depending on if this guy is trustworthy, we might want to say one, but not the other. Like, for example, if we don't trust him, then we probably want to give him our own interpretation of it because we don't want him to suspect that we know anything. But if we trust him, or if he knows more than me, then saying the actual thing might actually be better in that case. For now, let's try, let's try this one because we don't have the full sentence and I'm wondering if he can give me the next part because I messed it up. If I said to you, were all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, You'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use the Devil's Thorn fully, but I'm sure we'll get some chance to use it sometime. It's one that I forget about often, though, because in the middle of a conversation is when it's best to activate it. But at the same time, you're usually also being timed by a timer during a conversation, so... Not really much chance for me to remember to use it. Dude, these butterflies are fake as hell. <laughs> hey, where, where was our performance? There's all these instruments here, but no one performing. What gives? There's way too many butterflies here. It's like heaven here. When you look out, it's just all nice and bright. This painting has caused some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? Is that a dog? A lion? That has a weird face. Oh, thought we could go out. It looks like, according to Piaggi, the place we're looking for is the library. So I'm gonna look around a little bit first. Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Okay. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Wow. Water? If I don't have jelly, the next best thing to have is water. Used a lot of jellies with Napoleon earlier. The conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Circe? That's somebody that's been in a lot of paintings here. I'm not sure who that is. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? Circe. Yeah, I don't. I don't know who that is. Oh, this one you can't. Oh, that's the actual, the actual swine. Ugh. There's a little bit of the painting again, of that unknown animal. <laughs> mm, we could leave first. 
Okay. Oh, painting over here. Circe turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Hmm. This whole room is about Circe. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. Hmm. Well, if the portrait gallery is where we're trying to go. Oh yeah, not the library, the portrait gallery, right? I wish we could see. I wish we could see. I know the guy told me earlier, the servant, but yeah. I want to go back to the small salon though, because I want to open that one chest that we had. Mm. Oh, before we leave here, do we want to wait until we find the key or do I want to just break it open? I think it's okay to break it open because it only takes one effort point. Yeah. Seriously. Oh. Hmm. Okay. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. If it doesn't cost that much, the rewards might not be... Like, my expectations for this probably shouldn't be that high. What is it? Water? Oh! Four royal jellies. Hey, that was a good deal then. One effort point for eight. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. Mm. Okay. Before we go into the new area, let's get back to the small salon then. Thank you. Oh, did you want to speak some more? No? Are you even eating? You're just kind of staring intently at it. <laughs> okay. It's a very beautiful place here, but I can't imagine that it doesn't have a wall on that side. That's just a little strange. Maybe it opens up? Wow, sounds crazy. Anything change around here? Never know. Someone might have dropped a new coin around here somewhere now. The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. It can't be here. Yeah. It's definitely not here, but we have to go open the... the chest here. Which is why we're back. Do you have anything new? You look like you're about to fall asleep. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? No, I was hoping it would get refilled. Okay. Thanks anyway, dude. Can we go back up? No. But we can probably... Hold on. Anything around here? Nope. You can hear a little ding whenever we come close to something, so that might be something to look out for in case if we don't visually see it. Nobody's here? I guess that's probably a good thing, because we're gonna go open the box now, and we probably don't want people looking at us when we're doing that. More coins? The place looks so different during a brightly lit time. Hmm. It's like a completely different place entirely. Come on, you gotta give me some of these books and stuff here. Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, yep. Dorkin was my favorite character. So it seems like it's pretty much the same stuff. I thought Elizabeth would be here, but uh, she's probably somewhere else. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Oh, this one needs two effort points. Are you gonna stay here? If I just... Whoa, there's a lot. There's a lot. We have five now. Okay, we shouldn't be stingy about it then. Do they disappear? I really hope not. Stay here, okay? Just just be here. 
Ah! We still can't go in here. What was it again? The conference room, I think? Hmm. Yeah, they really just want us to go to the... the portrait gallery. Sure. Unless if we can... I don't imagine we can go outside. No. And we probably can't go back upstairs. Oh, let me have that book. Nope. Okay. Back here. There's not even a glass or anything. It's just... This would be a really easy location to kill somebody, huh? Just push them off and they're gone. You probably can't even find the corpse in that case. Jeez. Yeah, that's done. Okay. Mm hmm We're good. The library. Wow, it's huge. Oh, golden elixir. Hopefully we can come back here. This library is so big that unless if we know what we're looking for in specific, I don't think we can just randomly find stuff. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Why? Forbidden book? Oh my gosh. Okay, royal jelly. Oh! I gotta be careful about the intoxication, though. Yeah. Oh, but we don't have to be, because we have a whole ton of golden elixirs. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Hey! Do we have the whole book now? Yes, we do! Oh, this will be a good one to get into. Science, linguistics, erudition. Great! Great. Awesome. Awesome. What was that? Coin. Now we're just thieving books from the library. Oh. Can we go down? Holy! This... There's even more floors than I was imagining. How do we go down? Yeah, there's no... There's no way for us to go down anywhere. That's not how buildings work, man. <laughs> there's only ladders that go up that we can't climb, but... Uh, yeah. I guess they really want me to go to the portrait gallery. The Last Supper. Even I recognize that one. <laughs> Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? It's probably a statue or something. Whoa. Yeah, there's not actually gonna be a Medusa in here. Or is there? Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Hmm. Anyone else here? Where is everybody? There's so many people in this house, but we can't... We don't see any of them normally. Celia. That name means nothing to me. That's weird, because you seem to know a lot about pretty much all the paintings. That's a good one to take note of then. Hmm. Ooh, look at this fancy. It's huge. It's actually huge. This library seems to contain the knowledge of the whole world. A room that brings together an impressive collection. Okay, the only thing we're missing, I think, is the conference room. Wait, where am I? In here? Hmm. Can we...
Oh. Sure. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Oh, that's awful. Wait, did I pick it up? I guess so. Did I? Because I thought I had five. Oh well, whatever. Hmm. This one has no key. Yeah, we're gonna try it. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. No, oh, we can't pick up anything because we have too much of everything now. Oh, shoot! I wasn't looking properly and I just I just pressed on it. I've got to find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. We gotta move it in a certain way? Okay, well, before we think too hard about it, I actually haven't finished looking at the room yet, so I don't really want to solve it just yet. Hmm. A painting with no name. It's weird. Is that the devil? The beast they're trying to face? Hmm. Huh. Okay, now we're back out here. I'll be back. I'll be back. More jelly? No, that's golden elixir. Wow, we have like five of everything now. Holy crap. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Hmm. Was that Judas? A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder oh. why Mortimer's particularly fond of this painting. Cator is not the 14th. That's right, it's in French. What's 16 in French again? It says... The Company by Rembrandt. A fragment of amber. Great. We can't leave. That's probably to the conference room, I'm guessing? The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Hmm. If we want to move the statues, I feel like we have to find the solution too. Amber so, crystals. I guess that's part of what we're looking for here. Ah, Francois Premier, receiving the Holy Family. A painting by Raphael. Wow. These paintings are huge. Each one must cost like millions. Or not millions, but at least thousands. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. <laughs> A random book? Okay. <laughs> the placement of these... This furniture is strange, to say the least. Whoa, there's things in here. Red sand. Oh, fancy. A drachma. Coin. And now we sit and contemplate on the finer details of life. Medusa. What what is my mom trying to convey to me though? Something that she can't just outright tell me. She has to tell me by putting a secret message inside a book. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look. Someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Oh. 
This guy's connections are far and wide. You know, we might have an easier time with the Medusa puzzle if... Oh, we can actually go outside too. Interesting. If we made out the second part of the message. I'm guessing that's what that was. Oh, did something... No, it's just that. Okay. Is that the chair, or...? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we just teleported across. They gotta have more... Like, this place looks really fancy and all, but where's all the recreational facilities? You have, like, a dozen people here, but they don't have anything to do aside from reading a book or whatever. Well, I guess everyone here is learned, so that's all they like to do. Ah, painting by Ang. Moliere, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. You know, this guy clearly can speak French, just judging by how he says French words. But just weirdly enough, he doesn't have a French accent when he's speaking normally. Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take liberty, please. But I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Yeah, death doesn't really look all that enticing. <laughs> we can go back. That is back, right? Mm-hmm. But we don't need to. Yeah. We got a good bit of pretty much everything here. The tea set? The books? No. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's actually a clue about how to solve the puzzle here. Which means we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to figure it out ourselves. Fair enough. Do we move these? Oh. Consider the value again. Okay, sure, we can think about it. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa, so what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. Blind her. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. So I'm starting to get a feel for what these choices actually are. You don't have to do them. They will make it easier for you to figure out the solution, but you don't have to do it. It's basically just a clue, from what I can tell. And that was a good clue, because the beasts were trying to defeat as Medusa. I thought we were trying to like... Because earlier, when they were talking about it, they zoomed in on the painting here. I thought they were talking about that guy. Hey, doesn't this look like a secret passageway behind this painting? Anyway, okay. Medusa's over there. Oh, did we look at that? Oh. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page, in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Yeah, you're French. You can't read the Latin, but better than nothing. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon, the Medusa. Okay. That's also a hint. We have to make the guy with the sword face Medusa. Can we rotate Medusa herself? Yeah, why don't, why don't we just rotate her? Oh man. The Richet's message. Oh, what was it? Oh, we can't remember it because we didn't get it. Ah! Oh, God damn it. Why can't we just rotate her so she's facing the wall? In that case, she can't defend herself. 
And therefore, we we win by default. <laughs> okay. All right. You have a sword. Ooh. I want to examine it, but I'm pretty sure we can do it without. Especially because it costs points. Towards the Medusa. Thank you for not saying turn right or turn left. Just saying towards the Medusa or towards the other guy. That's actually really helpful. Lantern? Face the shield. Oh, but the shield. How do we want to... Do we want to move the shield guy? I don't know. Handle the mechanism. Oh. It's already toward the Medusa right now. We want it toward the Lantern. Well, I'm guessing that wasn't right, because... Nothing happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... Well, that guy is... Facing the Medusa. We haven't moved the Medusa. You... Yeah, face the hero with the sword, so you get killed. Oh, but the Medusa would make it so that... The guy with the sword can't move, right? Because that's the whole point of her... Snaky nature. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. You want to face the guy with the shield, because... Then you'll be blinded. It looks right, but nothing's happening. Maybe, in this position... The hero with the shield is just dazzling his colleague. Mm. I guess you have to face the- Oh, maybe I have to move this one again. Because we move Medusa now? Like this? If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Like, I've done it right, but I'm missing something? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Hold on. This one, I don't think we need to move. Yeah, it's already towards the shield. Does that mean that I should move the... shield guy back then? Hmm... Uh, maybe there's a secret button that we need to press somewhere? We could read the book again. A painting with no name. Huh. Well. What about this book? We still can't read it. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah! The section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the divert hero with the attention. sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Brandishes attention at the Medusa. Maybe there's something I'm missing in the big room? It's hard to tell, because by the way Louis is talking, I'm guessing I have the right position, but then do we have to do something else? Or am I completely misunderstanding this? Because he talked when I moved that, but he also talked before I moved it, so I'm not sure which one was the correct position to be... for him to be in. Let me try moving this one again. Or I can... handle it? What does handling it mean? Hmm, the mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Oh, that's surprising. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. So we're not respecting the legend then. Because according to this, it should be facing the hero. Oh. 
Interesting. I kind of like this. These are both ways for you to figure out what to do, but it's done by a different logic. This one's by like just logic. This one's by being good with engineering stuff. It's kind of cool. Do not respect the legend. But why? Maybe that would have been a hint from my mother's message. Whoa. Hey, it actually is a secret passage. What a surprise. 